So why am I walking to my van? Because... Because... The numpty... Broke it down. Yes, about that. Watch this. This goes to prove sometimes that even my hair doesn't look good all the time. Can you see the background? The pipe broke down. Uh, got a bit of smoke out of it all of a sudden. And um, that was it, just jammed up, shut off. Bike starts again, it's not engine. I think it's the belt's burnt out. But I should get it back and have a look at it. Long walk to work, I think. Here I am at the side of the road at 6 o'clock in the morning, waiting to get picked up. <laughs> Just shows that breakdown can happen to anybody, even to a well seasoned mechanic like me. Not. So, even the variator nut has come off, which has jammed it all up. The cheap belt I bought has burnt out, or the clutch has jammed. Hmm. Now, I started back up because while I was riding along doing 70 mile an hour, I noticed all of a sudden, I felt like rumble noise, like kind of rumble strips. And that was it all of a sudden, the engine conked out. Um, I managed to cruise down the rest of the hill, so I knew it wasn't jammed. Um, and then when I pulled over, I managed to start the bike straight back up again, and then turned it off. And I had smoke coming out of the variator system. So I'm thinking the belt has just died, or the rollers are jammed open, or, or something. I'll have a look when I get home. Obviously, I'm going to carry on going to work. I feel like a fuzzy at the side of the road. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm going to, uh, when I get home, take the cover off and have a look at what is left. Now, I didn't throw the old belt or rollers away, so I might be able to stick them back in. You never know. Anyway, let's get on with my day, pick the bike back up later and find out what on earth went wrong. So a fellow YouTuber said to me, Marky, when you put these bolts in here, you don't have to get a hammer and tap mat, just screw them in and they pop off. It worked. I mean, that's, that's so nice. I don't know it all. I'm here to try and help you guys just learn little nicks and knacks and, and, and help, you know what I mean? Um, a lad said to me the other day, Mark, you don't do um, speed fight videos anymore. There's 70 videos on there. Just watch them, do you know? There's so many, cup of tea, sit down. She's not in the cupboard, by the way. She's out today, today, so no cup of tea. But, so this guy said to me, Mark, all you do is you wind these in like that, and it pulls it off. And it did, it worked. So. Oh dear. Well, I think I know what happened. Hmm, that's, that's not so good. We have catastrophic failure of the belt. That's just, oh, oh dear. Oh. This belt, fuck it. That was 30 pound from China, come in four days. I don't know if I'm not come now, it's pissed me off. Look at that, oh mate. That is just absolutely just obliterated. In fact, there's not, not enough of it. What the hell happened to that? <laughs> that can't be left in the belt. Now, I often say, don't chuck things away. Here's the old belt. It, it slipped a little bit. Come on. Why the hell is it all gone? Oh, all right. That is just, it just completely knackered. Wow, clutch is still good. I'm gonna take that off. There might be some behind it. Yeah, there's some behind it. Well, top tip, don't buy shit from China. They may be 89 pound from England, which I know they probably come from a Chinese manufacturer anyway, but at least they're quality. So I'm gonna have to put that on back on That'll get me to work on Monday, and then I'm gonna source another new one. But I mean, look, you can still see the writing on it. It just completely just died. Oh, I've gotta clean it all out now and get the variator cover off again and what have you. 
Very out of cover, idiot. I'm just lost now, ain't I? <laughs> Get the variator off, an old fashioned way. I actually was convinced that the nut may have come off. Just proves I got it on properly, but you can't prepare for failure of the belt. You know, the unexpected. Or maybe I should have prepared for buying a shit one and not done it. There's bits, all little bits and bobs here. And there you have a bit more of it. That just burnt. I, I don't wonder why it did that. I reckon it may have just started catching and, and well, lucky it didn't catch fire, I suppose. I don't know. But there we go. It's off. Let's get all these bits off. Get the new belt. No. <laughs> get the old belt back on. And I'll be up and down the road again until I buy another one. Now. I'm going to have a look while I've got this off at the variator rollers. You know I'll put the other ones on. Um, she pulled her really fast on the first couple of weeks and then it was sort of a, like a, a plateau again. So I want to see whether they are rounded at all. If they are, it just goes to prove, again, don't buy cheap rollers, don't buy cheap belts, buy quality ones. You are, right, fella? Goodbye. No, not really. And I'll just finish off. Anyway, let's have a look at the variator. So top tip two, if you do have a compressor and it's 150 bar like my one, he said you can just slap this on the variator nut, give it a spin, it will come straight off. Now I said to him in the day, I do it the claw hammer way because a lot of you have not got a nice big huge compressor like I have. But I was apprehensive of doing it. Bugger me, second time today, he was bloody right just spins it straight off I was worried it would turn the engine it does not turn the engine how about that now remember I said about this that has all got to come off so that's going to come off because that will catch the new belt not new second hand and here's the variator off I'm going to check in there what the bolts are like so I really want ah found the other belt Yay, what a load of crap. I am going to email the eBay seller. That's done not even 200 miles. And I am really, really unhappy, to say the least, that that has happened to me. Um, that's not good, is it? That's not good at all. That's a pile of rubbish. I had to... Uh, an email from YouTube the other day and everybody's got to do it now I've got to say my videos are made for kids and that's difficult for me because I've got adult content I mean adult content to me means boobies hanging out and all that sort of stuff I do swear um, but I wouldn't have said my my videos are age restricted but they're not made for kids so I had to put no they're not made for kids so I think that stops anybody from 13 16 I don't know what a Americans class as kids 21 huh? So I had to tick, no, they're not suitable for kids, so I may lose some audience. Anyway, uh, we will see. And let's have a quick look at what is inside my variator. See how these rollers are done on a good couple of hundred miles that they've done. They should be like new still, shouldn't they? That may have knackered them a little bit. Let's have a look. Now, my top tip. If you ever, sorry about the light today, it's just a shite day, it's like two o'clock in the afternoon. If you ever have to change your belt, please always take this off without the belt there this gets baggy and loose and this is what you'll find <laughs> that's jumped out no flat spots look at that you know I know some people hmm, I know some people just change the belt you must take this off and there's a bit of the belt look at that there's bits of belt in here so that's got to be cleaned and yeah I'm not again no flat spots though so they are they are okay clean put back on belt back on zip it back up again up and down the road job done and knowing that this old belt just slips a little bit is not as bad as the other one that just completely So that's just catastrophic, isn't it? That's just a bad failure. Anyway, let's get these little rollers out of there. See, this is 
this is the dust that you would not want left in there you just don't want it clean clean rag that's just not been touched much 200 miles I'm gonna re-grease that wipe clean 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 this crap off the edge of there rub it down and let's get back on the road I'm gonna blow that out actually I think we're gonna blow it out just in case any more bits of crap that shouldn't be there right as I say in all my videos shut up planes no uh, where's the tea? No? Let's get on with it. <laughs> so there you go. Two lots of handy hints today from people who just said to me, Marky, there's your little hints. So they screw in, they push against it, and they nicely it nicely pops off. So both learnt something today. And if you have a compressor that's a good one, you can take the very on and off with the nut. That's what I'll be doing from now on I think. Isn't that good? Thank you so much. Hopefully my little hints will help as well. There you go. You do learn something every day. You take these off now, put it back on, put it back together, give it a little wipe over and I'm back on the road for Monday. So, a couple hours work and I was doing other things as well. Start to wipe. day because I'm getting wet now perfect what have you learned today do not buy crap shit belts <laughs> that's it and top tips from two other youtubers thank you gentlemen one getting the nut off got to have a compressor and two push the bolts in gets the back casing off I don't think it works for any other motorbike or scooter should I say that I'm aware of I'm getting wet now I've had enough you lot take care of yourselves please like share and subscribe Many more videos to watch.